Okay, so today what I want to demonstrate to you is the proper technique for mounting. Uh, it's, it's not so bad on an older finished horse that you trust a little bit more, but we're going to say that it's a green horse. Um, safety's got to be paramount. We don't want to just kind of jump on them. Uh, we want to make sure that we can control what's going to go down. So we've got our rein on the other side and we've got our, our onside rein here. You can't, some people will do it this way. I don't like to do it that way because if something happens, then sometimes you can't get a hold of this rein in time and your horse has a chance of getting away. So I'm going to take this inside rein, the one that's towards me, lay it between my index finger and my thumb. And I'm going to make this inside rein shorter so that what I'm trying to do is have it so my horse looks to the inside. If she looks into the inside, then what I'm going to have as far as safety is that I'm at her shoulder and the chances of her hip moving away from me are going to be way greater for what we've got going on. So this way, inside rein a little bit shorter. You don't have to pull her. You can put your hand on her neck. You can grab a little bit of mane if need be. And we want to think about where we put our foot. As we can turn the stirrup towards us, put the toe of our boot in the stirrup. Don't put your foot all the way through. If she jumps or does something, the thing it ends up being is now you're going to be hung up because your foot's all the way in. So just turn that stirrup towards you a little bit. Put your toe on it. You can grab the saddle till you get a little bit closer. But grab your horn and stay by your shoulder. And now you can get up and then when you mount if she goes to walk around you're in the safe zone because you're at her shoulder if her butt swings around you're still safe if something goes to happen and you need to get off you can jump away and you still have the inside rein and her butt goes away from you so that, that's the important part with this is because now you have you have this as your lead rope if need be so <clears throat> again we go back inside rein shorter we put our hand on the horn, put a toe of our boot in the stirrup, grab us a little bit of mane, pull yourself up here. You can stay low on a colt for a minute. Make sure it's all good and see our heads curled around looking at us. And then we can swing ourselves up and over her, get her foot in the outside stirrup. So if she goes to walk around, all she's going to do is stay in a circle. Now that I have it safe and she's looking to the inside, I can just grab the tail of my rein and flop it over her neck. Now I have her and we can go ahead and walk off and it'll be safe this way. And we're going to do the same thing when we go to dismount, is that when I stop her, I'm going to take my rein, put it back over here to the inside between my pointer finger and my thumb. I'm going to make her look over here to the inside. And when I step down, I just stay at her shoulder and step off. Now, I can go ahead and walk off. Now, one thing you can do, you can lead them with both reins. But the little thing that I like to do, a little thing that I've learned from the cutter that I work for, is I can take the offside rein. And what we're going to do is almost going to be like a, a double half hitch. We're going to take the rein, flip it over, lay it on the horn. Take the rein again, flip it over, lay it on the horn. And now that's going to keep it up out of the way and we can lead our horse however we need from this side. So it's almost like having a lead rope. So what we're trying to think about all the time is, you know, the safety is paramount, especially when you're getting on these colts. You don't want to be jabbing them in the belly. You don't want to be kicking them. And you don't want to just plop down on them and, uh, you know, kick them with your boots or everything as soon as you get on. So you just got to take your time, be safe, be sensible, stay low, stay relaxed. And if anything happens, you can always step down and everything stays safe because then all the energy is going to go away from the shoulders and their head. So I hope that helped and we'll discuss it more later.